Hi there, and welcome to part 5. In this video, we will be covering the 3D, 2D, and first person viewpoints. All of these viewpoints can be found in the top right hand corner here. The default view, and the one you're probably most familiar with, is the 3D view, which is what we are currently in. Pressing the 3D view button while already in the 3D view will bring us back to this default position here. This can be quite handy if we move our camera too far and get a little bit lost. If we go ahead and click the 2D view button, we are now looking down on our room. You can use the arrows on screen or the arrow keys to move around and zoom in or out with the mouse wheel. You cannot, however, rotate the camera while in this view. You can add, adjust and delete cabinets in this view with the same methods you would use in the 3D view. Moving on to the first person view, click the stickman icon in the top right. You may have noticed that our cabinet menu has disappeared. This is because you are not able to add, adjust or delete cabinets in the first person view. All of the movement options available in the 3D view are also available in the first person view with the exception of the zoom function.